We see them, but we don't notice them. We hear them, but we don't listen to them. They're just background noise in our everyday lives. Blips flitting across our mental screen. They are the ever-present birds. When something is everywhere, we eventually take it for granted. Birds? Yeah. So? What's so important about birds? I'm so happy you asked. Quintillion insects, that's 19 zeros, inhabit this planet as we speak. That's one trillion bugs for every single human being on our planet. And not all of them are friendly to us or to our food. They reproduce at mind-boggling speed. Let's just use one species for an example, aphids. You know what they are, those little white guys that live on the leaves. If they could reproduce without anyone ever eating them, they would be... neck deep in about a month. And if all five million species of insects were allowed to reproduce at will, hmm, but all is not lost. Enter 400 billion birds, 18,000 species on this planet, eating, for example, 98% of all pine beetles, 98% of all crop pest moths, and stopping insect-borne diseases in their tracks. Add in 3 million spiders for each one of us, 1,300 species of bats, and then all the insects who eat each other, and you have a balanced system with everybody eating everybody else. Mmm, sounds yummy. How about trillions of mice and rats cuddling up to us? If you don't like that idea, thank a hawk or an owl next time you see one. Lesson? We would not just be poorer without birds. We would be very, very dead. If we went extinct, life would go on as usual here on this planet without us. Compared to birds, the lesson is very clear for us. Get over yourselves. So you pay your membership fee and get free shipping from Amazon Prime, right? Well, birds do shipping that's actually free. They eat seeds, wrap them in fertilizer, fly somewhere else, and poop. Was that really necessary? Voila! Seed germinates, new plant, and nutrients to help it along. 
Their sophisticated distribution system covers the entire planet because they go everywhere. Drone delivery? They are drones because they fly. All 400 billion of them. And since 900 species of birds also pollinate over 500 species of trees and tens of thousands of flowering plants, they have easily held the title of the greatest farmers in the world since the dinosaurs. I would call that a dynasty. Every animal that has ever lived also died, yet yet no pile of bodies. Where did they go? To its a great recycling cleanup crew. Carrion beetles, fungus, bacteria, 20 thousand species live in the average rotting log. But I'll tell you who are the first responders when something died. Magpies, ravens, crows, jays, eagles, and that gorgeous bird with the great sense of smell, the turkey vulture. They prep the body like good undertakers to let the rest of the crew at Waste Management Central do their recycling. Back to good old-fashioned dirt, which grows new plants and feeds new animals, and they all eventually die again. And welcome back to the magpie. Oh, and if it's money that matters to you. Birdwatching contributes $90 billion to our economy every year, $12 billion to our tax rolls, employs 700,000 people. It's the fastest growing outdoor pursuit on the planet. The bird whisperer. They listened to what the birds could tell them about the world around them. Where's the danger? Who's so happy that they cannot keep from singing? And then they said, hey, I can do that. Or our bird mimicking ability led us to better hunting and gathering and then to language, and eventually to music. Music that sang us to sleep. Music that woke us up in the morning. Music that made us laugh. Oink, oink, oink. Even music that helped our romance. Eventually, guys like Mozart listen to the thrushes and copied it for themselves. We also noticed that thrashers do 3,000 different songs. Chickadees have 25 plus words in their language. Their alarm system can warn about different kinds of danger, and the warning travels for miles around instantly. Jays, crows, ravens, and catbirds can mimic other birds. Pacific wrens can do 36 notes per second when they sing, which only shows us that our brains are really, really slow.
An adjective for birds? How about wow? They fly whenever and wherever they want. No reservations, no baggage fees. Hummingbirds are jet planes and helicopters. Lots of swifts, frigate birds, and albatrosses eat, drink, court, mate, and even sleep in the air for over a year. Peregrine falcons fly 240 miles per hour in a dive. Little black pole warblers, you could mail two of them with one stamp, migrate non-stop over the Atlantic Ocean for 2,000 plus miles, and they get 172,000 miles per gallon from their fat supply. Think that's cool? Godwits migrate 7,000 miles non-stop from Alaska to New Zealand. Ravens can solve six-step problems, every step dependent on the one before to get food. Know who else can do that? Chimpanzees, porpoises, Caledonian crows, and humans. Nobody else. Clark's Nutcrackers can remember where they put 85,000 different pine seeds. We can't remember where we put one set of car keys. Birds see ultraviolet and infrared light and on migration see the magnetic lines of force of the Earth. That's like being able to see gravity. Most of us only see the results of gravity in the mirror as we age. As long as we have been humans, Birds have symbolized freedom, strength, wisdom, spiritual connection, and put big wow grins on our faces. So if you want to do a physical, a wellness checkup for our little blue ball that we call a planet, you might want to check out birds. They all sit at the top of almost every food chain, everywhere on the planet. And if they do well, and they raise their chicks, that place they live is probably healthy and thriving. And if they don't do well, it's almost always an early warning about our own life support system. DDT, eagles, condors, and peregrine falcons warned us. Mercury in the water? Loons were the first clue. Overhunting? Can you say passenger pigeon? Many migratory birds are now compressing or shrinking their breeding ranges due to climate changes. Extinction means gone forever. But extinction is normal. The problem is these days the numbers are not. Bird extinctions now happen at a rate faster over one each year than when the comet hit the Yucatan and killed off the dinosaurs. What does it take to get our attention? So when I become a bird watching geek, want better mental health? Want to remember things better? Want to live longer? Evidence suggests that bird watching is ecotherapy. Bottom line, birds rock. Let's do this.